The small angle and wide angle X-ray scattering beamline is known as Saxwax. Nigel Kirby shed some light. If you've ever thrown a bit of dust in front of a torch, you'll see how the light scatters from the little particles. And that's what we do here at the small angle beamline. We throw X-rays onto samples and watch how the light scatters. The smaller the object, the wider the angle that the light will scatter, and the bigger the object, the smaller the angle at which the light will scatter. And we measure the angles at which these things scatter. That gives us a measurement of the size and shape of things like atoms, particles and molecules. While small angle and wide angle scattering is available in laboratories, the synchrotron offers scientists much faster and more precise collection of data. Instead of taking minutes to hours to collect data, we can get data in milliseconds to seconds. We can also control the wavelength of the X-rays, which opens up new techniques to control things like the absorption and the elemental sensitivity of samples. So we can get out data that's specific to particular elements within a sample, which you just can't do in a laboratory. The beamline is used by researchers from many different industries, including mining, pharmaceuticals, agriculture, forensics and more. Scientists study samples and systems such as muscle and membrane structures, chemical reactions and catalysts, advanced materials and food components. So basically, if it's something that's of interest from the scale of atoms to molecules, chances are you may need to use this beamline for what you're studying.